Hello, this is a video demonstrating the different shapes of the vein selector, which is part of the Worley LB lead delivery system. We'll start with a patient uh, that has this acutely angulated uh, target vein, and because of this acutely angulated target vein, the original implant uh, was unsuccessful. And you can see how uh, the target vein comes out and it takes an acute angle uh, and there's a nice branch beyond that angle. So I started using the standard shape vein selector uh, which is illustrated in the upper left hand corner here uh, and this vein selector works uh, about 75 percent of the time and actually comes packaged with the renal LBI subselector. Uh, despite utilizing a wire and spending some time, I was unable to engage the branch. So I took the standard vein selector out and through the renal that we had in there, uh, I advanced the vertebral shape vein selector, uh, which is the shape is illustrated here, and I was unable to engage the branch. So then we went to the hook shape vein selector. Remember, there are three shapes. Uh, the hook, the standard, and the uh, vert, vertebral, and so this is the hook, and the hook has such an acute angle uh, that I think it's best to put it up over a wire in the same way you'd put up an IMA catheter. So we put that up over a wire and then drag back and it quickly engaged the branch. And as you can see, the tip of the vein selector is actually beyond the area of, of tortuosity. So from there, uh, we put in initially a choice PT floppy wire and then uh, added a choice PT extra support with the idea of doing uh, the snare technique which didn't work out so we, I took out the choice PT floppy and put in this 0.018 uh, uh, Boston Scientific V18 control wire uh, which really you could see straightens out, straightened out the tip of the hook vein selector and made it possible for me to advance. You can see here this is the renal uh, LVI subselector being advanced deep into the target branch um, and once the tip of the renal LVI is deep in the branch we're uh, pretty much good to go in terms of advancing a lead because the lead's going to go at least as far as the tip of the of the renal LVI. One point to make about the subselector. Uh, the subselector uh, that's part of the Worley system is much softer and is able to be advanced deep into the branch over a, a um, vein selector, whereas the subselectors from the device companies tend to be stiffer in the more proximal segments and don't go deep into branches as well. So from there we're able to uh, put the lead in, uh, slice away the, the sheath, slice away the vein selector, excuse me, remove the vein selector, slice away uh, the 5.5 subselector, and then peel away the sheath and we have a done, we have a, a successful implant. So some teaching points. Uh, the Merit uh, system again has three shaped vein selectors, the standard, the vertebral, and the hook. The hook here was the, was the key to success, although we use it, tend to be use it less frequently. Again, the vein selector is designed to locate the target vein, provide direction support for advancing the wire and serve as a rail over which to advance your subselector. Uh, the, and the only one I ever use is the renal. The standard shape vein selector comes packaged with the 5.5 renal LVI subselector. And that standard shape works most of the time, particularly in branches that are at or above Buson's valve. The lumen of the vein selector that's the purple catheter, is 0.038, which can accommodate two 0.014 wires, or 1.014 and 1.018. The deeper you can get the vein uh, into the vein with the vein selector, the more rail support you'll have for advancing your subselector. Wire support is important for advancing the vein selector. The more wire support you get, the deeper you can advance the vein selector. Makes sense. Two wires, that is, a 0 0.014, 2.014s or 0 0.014 and 8 are going to give you better support than one wire. And what I found is that 
two wires tend to go better than like a 0.035 uh, and I think that's because you can get the, the smaller wires deeper into the branch uh, and that is reiterated here that the deeper the wires can be advanced the more stable uh, support they provide. Now this is a very important point. Polymer tip wires tend to advance through collaterals deep into the venous circulation better than standard hydrophilic wires. When you think of a, a polymer tip wire, you're thinking of a glide wire. That's the black polymer coating that's on a glide wire. Standard angioplasty wires don't have the polymer coating uh, and aren't as slippery even though they're, re they're referred to as hydrophilic. So you need to understand the difference between polymer tip and hydrophilic. Uh, floppy wires, that is light support wires, tend to advance through collaterals better than stiffer wires. And this makes sense because the stiff wire tends to go where it wants to go, whereas the floppy light support wire tends to follow the collaterals. And you can get better support with a floppy wire that's deep in the collaterals than a stiff wire that's only uh, just reaches the end of the body of the target vein. And then finally, the 018 wire from Boston Scientific um, is a polymer tip wire that adds a remarkable amount of extra support by comparison to an 018 wire. And interestingly, uh, the Medtronic lead can actually be advanced over the 0.018 wire. So in terms of catheters and wires to order, if you're interested, uh, we used a standard Worley sheath. Uh, number one, we used a standard vein selector, which again comes packaged with the renal subselector. This is the Worley vertebral vein selector, which is really useful for crossing Fusen's valve and branches that are closer to the os of the CS. The hook vein selector in this case was the key to success. If we're always using the contrast injection system so that we can uh, manipulate the catheter and advance a wire uh, when we get into the target branch. Um, the subselector we used was the 5.5 renal uh, LVI, and again, this the distal section of this tends to be softer and easier to advance deep into a branch than the device companies. Uh, and then the wires; these wires are all critically important. Uh, we're we're using the Choice PT floppy light support, uh, the Choice PT extra support, and then the Boston V18. Uh, control wire. I hope you found this helpful and uh, there'll be more postings on different topics. Thank you.